Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about planets that bless us with assets as per Vedic Astrology. Today is a sacred day, Akshay Tutiya. I'm sure any people would be celebrating Akshay Tutiya. Happy Akshay Tutiya to everyone. So Akshay Tutiya is basically an occasion that we celebrate Goddess Lakshmi to bestow us with prosperity, abundance and wealth. Okay, so today this topic is also about wealth. I'm sure you guys would be excited. So please stay tuned and take your notebooks, pen and paper so that uh, you'll be able to write down the combinations that I'll be telling to you right now to see your birth chart if at all you have that combination. Of course, uh, you need to learn whole astrology to uh, analyze the birth chart, but that's okay. This video would be also help, uh, great help to you. Okay, so most importantly, there are three planets who are Karakas for wealth. First and foremost thing, Jupiter. Jupiter is the strong planet that bestows you wealth in your life. And second comes is the Venus. Venus is also Karaka for wealth and luxuries. And third comes is Saturn. If at all you have strong Saturn, then there'll be a financial stability. There'll be always a reserve of money. Okay. So generally these three planets provides you a great amount of uh, wealth, depending upon the planetary alignment in your birth chart. If these three plants are very strong, then obviously there'll be good amount of resources. There'll be good amount of support from your elders. There'll be good amount of uh, support from uh, even the government funds, um, government policies. And at the same time, uh, if at all you have strong planets placed in the second, fifth, ninth, seventh, and the eleventh houses, even the fourth house, then this is a strong indication that you'll be having, getting the wealth through that specific means of the planet sitting in that specific house. And if at all you talk about the assets, then second house talks about tangible and intangible assets. Then the 11th house talks about incoming flow of gains. Okay. Any planet sitting in the fifth house and the second house, any exchange between the fifth and second house, any exchange of planets between the fifth, 11th and the second house, any exchange of the planet between the second and the 11th house, any exchange of the planets between the second and the ninth and the 11th house, their forms is Dana Yoga any planet for that matter including mars mercury sun moon rahu and ketu as well okay so there should be exchange of planets in these uh, houses in your birth chart so that there will be a uh, good flow of money happening in your life so if at all any combinations touching or there is any uh, connection between the second and the sixth house second and the twelfth house uh, and also the 11th and 6th house, 11th and 12th house, then there is an indication that you'll undergo losses. Okay, there'll be, if at all, there is a strong affliction in the 12th house, there'll be huge losses. Let's say if at all you have Rahu or uh, any malefic planet like Saturn, okay, and they're badly placed, okay, and they're sitting in the enemy sign, then there is a tremendous losses. Okay, if at all you have Rahu plus Moon and both are sitting in the bad state in the 12th house, there'll be huge losses. And to check about the losses, again, there are so many other combinations as well. It's not just the 12th house. Even the 6th house also brings losses. Okay. So we have to actually check these three planets and how they are aligned in your birth chart and which nakshatras that these, pla these planets are actually uh, were seated into. And what are the yogas it is forming in the birth chart? If at all you have a Panch Mahapurush yogas like Nichabangaraj Nichi Yoga or a Kirti Yoga or a Emperor Yoga, Gajakesri Yoga or a Dharma Karma Adipati Yoga. There are so many yogas. Uh, Sage Parashara in the Vedic Astrology has provided around 200 to 250 uh, yoga combinations, Raj Yogas. If all you have at least one or two yogas, then there is a strong indication that you'll be getting good amount of wealth. Irrespective of the affliction in your birth chart, if at all your Dhan Yoga is very strong in your birth chart, if at all your Wealth Yoga is very strong in the birth chart, then there'll be very good flow of assets, there'll be very good flow of wealth in your life. Okay, so all those things has to be carefully analyzed to check the wealth in the birth chart. Okay, so most important the second house talks about tangible and intangible assets. It can be uh, in the form of shares, it can be in the form of uh, you know houses or a property and, um, or in the form of lands or a jewelry, anything for that matter, any tangible or intangible assets talks about, um, provides you um, you know, bless you with a good amount of abundance and prosperity. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. If at all you're excited to learn about the wealth prospects in your birth chart, then do book for an astrological consultation. The link is mentioned in the description section. Once I get a consultation order, I'll be able to help you with a complete analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart, including the financial prospects. 
okay so and i'll see you in the consultation please check out the link that is mentioned in the description do book, do book for an astrological consultation so that will help you that will enable me to prepare to uh, utilize my time and energy to prepare your birth chart analysis and i can send you and let me tell you i take maximum two to three consultations per month not more than two okay so i hope you understand the value of astrology because not many people um, are not that serious about it. i want to really serve the people who are very serious in astrology okay so if at all you are very serious in astrology do book for an astrological consultation i love to take your i love to read your birth chart i love to provide you the consultation analysis and please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel please do share this video with your family and friends who would get benefited out of this video okay so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye for now